Good afternoon. It is May the 23rd, 2016, and what a trading day we have had. We have not had in the E-mini. Look at this damn thing. 273. We make we came within a tick of stopping out right there. To 45.75. That's like seven plus points. Seven points. I mean, that's nothing. That is nothing, uh, just nothing to work with today. Uh, no news. Feels like summertime trading. Uh, retest failure. This one would have been good for two. Retest failure, good for one. This retest failure right here. Uh, this would, B would have been a scratch. This retest failure actually would have been good for about four. Three anyway. Uh, v bottom. 1 to 2, retest failure, uh, you were in at 49 and you were out at 46, maybe 3, and so on and so forth. Just absolutely nothing to work for. So uh, the name of the game on days like this, let's remember, it's going to be we're going to fade the market 5 points, plus or minus 5 points from the preceding low. And then, then we have a shot. Our stops will be small. Our loss will be at the market's edge, or we'll get taken out, and we can start all over again. So um, really, 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 uh, I'd like to see this kind of trading start up a little bit later. Okay, on the F1 screen, higher, low, higher, high. Believe it or not, structurally on F1, this market can trade higher. On the F2 screen, it is a P. Volume, time are matched. Volume one tick above time, so we can still trade higher. If we put all this back together, we're definitely dealing with a P. So if the market were to close right now, right here at 47, uh, first buy would be 46.44. Buy two would be 39 to 41. On the SL side, 50 to 52. 54, 56, and tomorrow's news, new home sales, plus 525, come in lower than forecast, and Richmond Fed, I haven't seen an estimate, last month it was 14, that one could come in below forecast. Okay, tomorrow's the two-year auction for Treasuries. Um, didn't have a real strong market today. Didn't break it out. Didn't move it one way or the other. Uh, but we ended up today with a P. A higher low, higher high. This market can trade higher. And based on the two-year auction, we'd expect it to be sideways to higher tomorrow. Have a P. Uh, that basically was sold off the opening, but it's come back pretty nicely. So, uh, first sell 2731. 3 to 7, sell 2. On the uh, buy side, 17 to 21, where we were this morning. Actually, we were 20 to 24, then 13 to 17. Then 9 to 13 for buy 2. I think we've had four auctions this year where the two or the three year have sold on auction day over the past year. So it can happen, but it's pretty rare occurrence. Looking at the uh, ZB right here, where is it? There it is. Okay, resistance is 24 to 28. So selling 31 to 03, sell 1. 7 to 11, sell 2. On the uh, buy side, um, it's really 4 to 8, so M period low is 13, so 8 to 12 will be the first band of support. 
back to our one to five by one fives anyway and then uh, 21's 25's by two Get gold. F1. Lower high, lower low. Trying to trade lower. Got that high volume area 35 to 37. Looks like we've got a shot at that. Down here, if uh, we don't get through and yeah, 55, 57, maybe not in a day. Pretty quiet market, so. Looks like we're trying to trade a little higher. So we've got the London high over here at 53.70. Um, we're going to make 53.55 sell one. 58.60 sell two. On the uh, buy side, uh, 44.46. And then 39.41. So we're still buyers 40 to 45 and really would like to get short 55 to 60. Crude oil, which way will it go? Well, prices will fluctuate. We know that. Lower high, lower low, trying to trade lower. 47 is pretty good support. Put all this together. We've got a P. We've got this tail up here. So uh, 48 and a quarter, 48.50 is resistance. 48.75.49 sell two. On the buy side, 47.50.75 buy one. 47 even, 47 and a quarter buy two. And the euro. The yen was up today. The euro was unchanged. Kind of a sideways day. A little bit higher low. A little bit higher high. But uh, not going anywhere in a hurry. So pretty clean break up here in the 30, 13... Uh, area on the F1, looking at the F2 screen. So can we bust out around above 1250 or not? I think it's going to try to trade a little higher, so 40 to 50 sell one, 75 sell two. On the buy side, 112 even, 1210, and 1175 for buy two. That's it for May the 23rd, 2016. I'll see you bright and early in the morning. Y'all have a great evening.